What's up, guys? Tobin here with you. Thanks for tuning on in. I appreciate you guys. If you guys like the Tobin and Leroy radio show, check that on out. YouTube.com slash The Ticket Miami. I'll put the link in the description there. You guys can go check us out there. I know a lot of you guys just consume it on this page. That is where you guys can go find that. Also, watch us four hours every single day live on Twitch. 790 The Ticket is our channel there if you guys want to watch it. So, I was very excited to see this. Um, yesterday, I'm perusing the gram. Boots on the gram yesterday. Which is, you know, I'm, I'm I'm just looking for any heat content, dude. I'm just I'm dying for it. Something, just, you know. We, camp is what are we talking? We're talking like seven weeks away. Seven weeks away, like end of September, beginning of October is when training camp gets going for the Miami Heat. And I, I just miss basketball. I miss it so much. I'm excited for football. Don't get me wrong. And I'm excited for preseason games to get going and all that. But, you know, I love me some hoops and, you know, especially with all the drama that's gone on with the Heat this offseason or I guess potential drama, right? Like it hasn't been real drama because nothing has really happened. But, um, you know, there's always the potential of something happening. But it has definitely felt like the Durant and the Donovan Mitchell thing that has really put it's been cold lately. There's not been much to it other than, you know, the KD uh, reiterating that he wants to trade his little battle with the Nets owner. I don't know how that's all going to work out. I think that I think he's going to get dealt. I think that the owner very much seems pissed. Um, I just, I, I, I it just, it's a matter of when they'll have an acceptance that they're not going to get this historic haul for him that he'll get dealt. But I don't know when that'll happen. And for right now, uh, with the Heat being in rib mode, run it back. Um, I am liking what I'm seeing from this offseason. So I'm perusing the gram yesterday. And really great Instagram account to follow is Kyle Lowry's photographer, Drew Major. And uh, his handle is, if you guys want to go check it out, is I think Major, is it Major Films? Major Films 215 is his handle. And putting out some really awesome Kyle Lowry content lately, like working out of the UFC facility, which they're still doing. They're in Las Vegas right now, but he's been working out of the UFC facility with his trainer and getting after it. But yesterday it, uh, business picked up because Bam Adebayo is now in Vegas with Kyle Lowry working out, which I, I do this, you know, my thoughts, you guys know, I could be something could be nothing. If Bam's out there, he's working out with Kyle Lowry, you know, feels to me that's a big sign that he is, you know, working out with the point guard. We know that that Kyle has a very close relationship with Jimmy Butler, and Jimmy Butler is almost like a almost like a samurai, you know, like he is it, we he's not like working out with his teammates. He is back in Miami, you know, working out at a local high school. But to see Kyle Lowry and Bam getting in work together, I was like, wow, oh, all right. I, I dig it. I like seeing that because Bam has certainly been putting in a lot of work. We've seen him at the, uh, been, you know, with the, uh, the, the, the pro-ams. We've seen him play those. I think he's the only Heat player that I think currently has played in one of those that we've seen. Um, a lot of guys are in California working out, you know, I think Tyler Hero has been working out with Drew Hanlon and bam, you know, has gone to England. He's played in the Miami pro league. And now, uh, after you see Kyle Lowry, just getting after it at the UFC facility and you know, drenching sweat with those sweatsuits gets onto the practice floor and starts draining some long range shots. And I got to say, dude, look, bam. I don't know what it's going to take, man. I, I don't know if I, if, 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 if I, you know, Riles can have a sit down with Spo. I got to see this breathtaking shot on, in action, dude. This is not like watching, you know, uh, certain bricklayers on other teams that reside in New York who may or may not leave group chats with their teammates before playoff games. This is that shot's pure. That shot looks so damn good from Bam, and I'm gonna be furious if he doesn't take that during the during the because it feels like they're depriving us of something as fans. It feels like when you see that silky smooth J from this 6'9", versatile big man with all this skill. I hope Kyle Lowry, who I know is uh, is a blunt guy and will tell guys what they can do to improve and, and get their game, I really hope there is like some kind of heart-to-heart there to getting him to shoot that more and for this year to be a big thing. How he can find it, how they can have that chemistry. 
Um, it's a, it's a really cool thing. There was like I don't know. They probably put up like a good two minutes of workout footage on on Drew, uh, Drew Major. Probably put out like that on the social media page. So I would go check that out. Um, I don't know if that's on the YouTube page there too, but the the Instagram page it's a, it's all there, and uh, you guys should go check that out because you know we've seen Bam now shooting threes in London, shooting threes in the Miami Pro League, and now shooting threes in this uh, in in Vegas with Kyle Lowry. I want to, I want to see him shoot threes in games. I just do. There's so many regular season games. It's such a good time to tinker with things. And I think it's going to be interesting to see how they figure out who this big is next to him, whether it be Kayla Martin, whether it be, you know, would they do big year? I doubt it. Um, what Jovic will be eventually. I, I just think that for me watching this guy continue to get better. He's only 25 years old. I hope that with the working with Kyle Lowry, which I love because, you know, he was their big swing last year. If he's coming back this year and he isn't going to get traded um, and he addressed some of those rumors this week on Vince Carter's show, he um, if he's going to come back, yeah, that chemistry with Bam, I think, needs to continue to improve. I think that he is the right guy to get a guy like Bam in the spots that will make him comfortable. But I also hope that he presses him to do some things that are uncomfortable, like he has with Tyler Hero, like he has with Gabe Vincent. Um, you know, with Jimmy, it just feels like they're on the same page as it is already with the the long throws and the long heaves down the court and all that type of stuff. So um, the things that you want to see from Kyle Lowry, first, he's already getting into tremendous shape. Two – continue to encourage Bam to expand his range and then three, be a little bit more aggressive himself because he was, uh, you know, unselfish to a fault, which I know has been a thing that he has uh, dealt with in a lot of his career. And it's like you have two guys almost at different positions but are similar in a lot of ways with Bam and Kyle Lowry, uh, which is why I think a lot of people are looking for that guy who's just the pure go-get-after-it go scorer on this heat team to be the difference. And maybe that'll be Victor Oladipo. I don't know. Uh, speaking of Vic... Vic was on the Vince Carter show. Shout out to Vince Carter, by the way. Vince Carter is uh, is killing it with the uh, the heat content lately. You want me to subscribe to your podcast? You keep getting heat guests, Vince Carter, and my ass is going to be so there so fast with the uh, with the with the the with the listening of the podcast. But it was a fantastic interview with uh, with Victor Oladipo, and here's a little clip of it of Victor Oladipo just talking about where he wants to get back to this year. And I'm one of the best players in the world, period. Um, you know, I, I, I think that, um, you know, my injury has kind of built a misconception of who I am as a player. And, you know, obviously it's tough. You know, a lot of athletes deal from injury, but a lot of athletes come back and are and do very well from injury. You know what I'm saying? They have great careers, mm -hmm. uh, even better than before. You know what I'm saying? So why can't that be me? You know what I mean? Why can't I, I, I come back from this injury and what I've been through and, have an even greater career than I thought I could have prior to it. Uh, why can't I? And I don't see there's no reason why I can't. So I truly believe I can. And that's what I'm trying to prove to myself, first and foremost, is that I'm capable of great things even now. It's never too late, no matter what anyone says or what the world may think or what people tell you. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm Victor Oladipo, and, and I stand for who I am. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm a problem. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not just a – no, I mean, look, look at last year, V.C., I mean, look at last year. I, I didn't play all year. I didn't play one game all year, came back and played six games. I was in playoff rotation. I finished. I was I was playing 35 minutes in the Eastern Conference Finals. VC, I ain't had a summer to work out since 2018. I mean, how do you not get the goosies from that, from Vic? Vic is impossible not to root for. And I think a lot of people realized that last year with him and his story and, you know, just the work that he's put in and all that type of stuff. Um, impossible not to root for the guy. Impossible not to feel like this guy is working his ass off at all times. Impossible not to feel like he is out here um, believing all of that stuff. When he says that he's going to get back to being a superstar in this league, you hope so. Um, the thing, though, that impressed me the most that he mentioned is just the idea that he went from a 15-minute firm window where they were not going to break off of that to out of the rotation. They took him out of the rotation. Remember there was all that bull crap about, you know, Skip Bayless saying Jimmy didn't want to play with him, didn't want to share the floor with him. Um, but there certainly were like when they had that big blow, there certainly were changes to the rotation with Struce going in and 
Duncan Robinson going to the bench and then guys not playing anymore. So there certainly were changes after that fight and that blow up. But because guys were dropping like flies, Victor Oladipo really took advantage of that in the playoffs, was tenacious on defense, was a real pain in the ass, and showed a real ability to get to the free throw line, still draw contact. So all that instinctual stuff um, that that made him such a dynamic player that, that Heat fans wanted and wanted to be a part of for this team for a while – all of that stuff was um, all, all of that stuff was shown in the playoffs. It's just I think a matter of one, just getting a chance to have a real off season and, and fine tune some things in the game. Two, being able to you know kind of get some of the feel, the touch of that game back, and 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 also the just I think getting back to the 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 right speed, especially on offense. You know, it's it's going to be an interesting thing with how they go about this starting lineup if Tyler Hero is going to start, which I think that he will, and I think that he should, with Vic being in that microwave role that Tyler was in last year, how does he take to that? Um, he's been in that before. He was in that, I believe, in OKC a little bit. So it's not something he's he's never done before. But you know, how effective will he be in that spot where Tyler Hero was the sixth man of the year last year in that role? He was uh, He was the best they got. Now, Six man of the year, like he was not a 20 minute game play. Like he played starters minutes, he took starter shots, he had starters usage, all that type of stuff. Will Vic be in that same role? Um, will he be in that same spot? I don't know. That when you hear him speak, he sounds like a man who definitely has those plans of being that guy who is going to be in that role and is going to be one of the go to guys on this team, which before his injury is what a lot of Heat fans wanted Victor Oladipo to be for this franchise and and had a lot of those similar I think Donovan Mitchell, obviously, I would say probably the more pure scorer, but Victor Oladipo may be the better all-around player at his peak. You consider how good he is at defense, league leader in steals, um, all-star player, and all of that stuff considered. Um, you know, he was and and can be still very, very dynamic and has a skill set that they need. And so when you hear all this stuff about the Heat liking their team and people kind of rolling their eyes, you can kind of understand why, though. Like, you have to definitely project some things and you have to, you know, look out long view on some things. But um, you definitely can understand why they would feel okay. Still, there definitely seems to be a hole there in the starting lineup or a mystery in that starting lineup of what is going to be the big next to Bam. But... I think that they're going to have time to solve that. I do. If there's no Orca out there between, you know, Jay Crowder very openly flirting with the Miami Heat and 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 liking comments. I got sent a comment the other day. Shout out to Aaron. Aaron uh giving me the the, uh, the scoop that he was just saying, I would love to see you down in Miami and uh, uh, Jay Crowder was like liking the comment on Twitter on uh, Instagram about it. So and he's liking Ira Winderman tweets. Like Jay Crowder's showing that he wants to be on the Miami Heat. So I I I'm not so concerned with that big position, because I do think there are safety nets. I think there are options that'll be there if what they tried to work out doesn't work out right away. But for me, the biggest things this offseason have been Bam shooting the three, Vic getting healthy, Kyle getting in insane shape, Tyler Hero looking like he's in, in really good shape too. You've seen the pictures of, of him on Instagram lately, looking like he is getting stronger. So I think it does seem like all of those goals – are being met and they're, listen they're not the new york knicks losing to a pro-am team idiots i mean the new york knicks could you imagine like sitting here and you're donovan mitchell and you're like eh, he knicks like that would ever be a discussion because you got your big free agent acquisition your uh your your all-star who uh everybody was saying had a better career than chris bosh and then obi Toppin, who they all love and they're losing they're, they're, they're just losing to uh some dudes in a gym I mean, get the hell out of here. What are we talking about? So I, uh, he can do no, but you know what? It, it is, it is so New York Knicks. So of course they would, of course they would lose that game. 